Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Um, if you would ask someone to make a list of top priorities of what's important in his or her life, there's a big chance that one's health is topping the list. And that's what this debate is about. It's about health, and that's why it's so important. And the issue we're discussing here is very clear and straightforward. We have a legal text called a regulation, and in this legal text, there is a legally binding mandate for the European Commission to adopt scientific criteria for endocrine disruptors by December 2013. It's not written in Chinese. We have many, many official languages in the EU, but Chinese is not one of them. So it is very clear and straightforward. By December 2013, the European Commission had to uh, adopt scientific criteria for endocrine disruptors. And I must say, I can be extremely flexible if there are technical reasons for not um, uh, being in time. But I'm very inflexible when there are political reasons behind not meeting a deadline. And, of course, that is the case here. And the court ru ruling is extremely clear. The Commission should have adopted the scientific criteria in December 2013. And to quote from uh, the court ruling, there is no provision of the regulation which requires an impact assessment. So I'm not against an impact assessment. I think it's a very valuable tool also in this case. But before starting an impact assessment, the Commission should have adopted the scientific criteria. I understood that already in July 2013, they were ready. They're somewhere on a big dust pile somewhere in the Berlin Mall building, I would say get rid of the dust and table them as soon as possible, that is within a few weeks. Thank you, Chair.